Of course, science had achieved great triumphs in the 19th century, but nearly all of them had been related to practical or technological advance. For example, Edison, whose inventions did as much as any to add to our material convenience, wasn't what we should call a scientist at all, but a supreme do-it-yourself man. But from the time of Einstein, Niels Bohr, the Cavendish Laboratory, science no longer existed to serve human needs, but in its own right. When scientists could use a mathematical idea to transform matter, they had achieved the same quasi-magical relationship with the material world as artists. In this series, I followed the ups and downs of civilization historically, trying to discover results as well as causes. Well, obviously, I can't do that any longer. We have no idea where we are going. And sweeping, confident articles on the future seem to me the most intellectually disreputable of all forms of public utterance. Scientists who are really qualified to talk have kept their mouths shut. J.B.S. Haldane summed up the situation when he said, my own suspicion is that the universe is not only queerer than we suppose, that, but queerer than we can suppose. Three, two, one, zero. Thank <laughs> you.